Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about the Godox ML30 cob light. Now, this is one of the newer additions from Godox into their miniature cob light lineup coming in at only 1.3 pounds and the size is as small as a soda can. So it's extremely light, it's extremely portable. And because of that, it's gonna make it an extremely versatile addition to your kit and to your setup. Now, this specific version is a 5600K set light. Now, from my last few weeks of testing, I have found that this light is extremely versatile in what it can do. You can use it for something like a hair light if you wanna get some lighting down on top of your subject or a side secondary light for fill but don't let the size of this fool you because you can use it as a key light as well. Now, if you try using it as a key light with what comes in the box, you're probably going to get some very harsh light because there's nothing really included to give you a lot of diffusion. And something that I'm going to suggest to get with this light is what I used, which is this guy right here from Godox. It's the ML CD15 and it's a small rubber diffuser which you can put over top of your light, just like a bigger Tulip softbox, and it will let you diffuse your light quite a bit. Now, I was also able to test a bunch of different settings with this light, which you're also going to see, and I'm going to mark on every single test piece of footage that you see what the settings were, how far away from you know the wall it was, and what the camera settings were. That way you have a better idea of what this small light is capable of. That was all of the test footage that I had. Now, price-wise, you can find this unit as low as 119 up to about 199, depending where you look. At the time of release of this video, I believe it's 119 at B&H and around 199 or so on Amazon. And I will put links in the description below, that way you guys can check them out. The link for the soft box that I mentioned is also going to be in the description below. Now, in terms of overall brightness, Godox says that this light can get up to 7120 lux at about 3.3 feet, which from my testing, if you're in a room or space that small, you are probably not going to need to cut it up that bright for almost anything. Because in terms of video usage, it gets so bright that it's gonna just wash out all of your footage. Now, in terms of power options, you can either power this with the included power adapter, or you have the option to use this with MPF style batteries with the included battery cradle that plugs right onto the hand grip. Now, due to the fact that you can use this with batteries and the overall small size, it makes this an extremely versatile light to use for any type of project. Now, whether you're using this for video, streaming, or you want to use it for some type of photography to light whatever it is that you're trying to take photographs of, you should have no problems at all doing that with this light. If you guys have any questions at all that I didn't cover in this video, please feel free to ask down in the comments section below. Brightness on this unit goes from zero up to 100% in 1% intervals. And it also has eight special effects that come in this camera that seem to be pretty standard. Things like lightning, candle, TV, flash, paparazzi, if you have a need to add any type of special effects to your video footage. Now, I personally don't ever really use these effects. I don't think a lot of them are ever super accurate, but if you're in a pinch and it's what you have, they are there for you to use. 
All right, guys, as always, if you liked the video and found it useful, please hit that thumbs up as it helps the video and the channel greatly. If you wanna see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. That way you get alerts anytime I put out new content like this. And with that being said, until next time.